Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys my new favorite ROM, and that's Liberty version 0.7, and that's for Gingerbread 0.596. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are on the Team Black Hat leaked uh, rooted 0.596 over the air update. I've got a video on how to get there. Make sure that you check that out and get there first. Once you're there, how you install it, uh, you can. Uh, go ahead and download the donated Liberty Toolbox from the market and it will be in there. Um, it's also at the link in my description. Uh, if you don't want to pay for the toolbox, go ahead and pay for that toolbox though and support Jay Rummy and his team. They've created an awesome Liberty ROM and they will continue in developing for the Droid X so you definitely want to support that. They have provided me with a free donated toolbox so that I could show you guys this ROM. Uh, so if you have the donated toolbox, open it up. This also makes it super easy. You, all you have to do is go into ROM Manager and Night Leaves. You got to make sure you're already on the .596 rooted gingerbread. If you're already there, click on Liberty Gingerbread version 0 0.7. It will download the ROM and it will automatically uh, boot into Clockwork Recovery and flash that ROM. Before it boots into Clockwork Recovery, it's going to ask you if you want to wipe data, and you will select that. You can also back up your current ROM uh, if you want to. Uh, you'll choose that there. It'll boot into Clockwork Recovery and flash the ROM, and then you will be all ready to go. It does that automatically from the donated toolbox. If you do not have that, uh, open up D2 Bootstrap and select bootstrap recovery select OK reboot recovery if you already know how to install a ROM you can skip forward to the review obviously you'll know how to install this if you're already on the rooted .596 it's very easy to do I download the uh, .6 Liberty ROM from the link below. I will update that link with .7 as soon as it's public, which J. Remy said it would be public within the next couple of days. So you will download that ROM, go to install zip from SD card, and choose zip from SD card. Then you will find your file. The way that I'm going through here is volume up and down, camera button, and the back button to select. So wherever your file is, find that file. Keep all my files in the download folder and you'll just go through there find the file you'll select it and then it'll ask you if you really want to do that you'll click yes uh, make sure that you wipe data first so to wipe data before you install that ROM all you'd have to do is go down here to uh, wipe data factory reset and select that and then also wipe cache before you install the ROM so I'm just gonna reboot the system and show you guys the new uh, boot animation This all comes stock with the ROM. You get your boot logo. And you'll also get a boot animation. If you've already used the Liberty Gingerbread ROM, then you've already seen this boot animation. Okay, but that's your boot animation that you get. Uh, in the donated toolbox, there's also a way to change out your boot animation. So as soon as it loads up, we're going to get started with the review. Uh, if you've used the previous gingerbread ROMs, it's a lot of the same. Um, they've totally redone the framework to make it even faster than before. Uh, as far as like your battery life on this, it's going to be better than stock, but it's still not as good as like an Apex ROM. Uh, I'm also going to put up a review about Apex. So be on the lookout for that Apex review. Okay, so you'll see your new lock screen here. I don't know if you can tell it has this this cool thing. Dave Cover has really outdone himself with this theme here. Uh, you've got all new wallpapers. So go into your wallpapers, Liberty wallpapers, and you can see you've got plenty of new wallpapers in here. Um, I like the one that it came with, so I'm going to keep that. 
And then also you have a new live Nexus S wallpaper. So you can go into live wallpapers and you see there's your Nexus S live wallpaper. But I'm going to stick with the one that I have. I also want to show you in the donated toolbox. I'm, some of these features are also included in just the regular Liberty toolbox. Okay, and you see that all the blur, I mean all the, uh, yeah, most of the blur here has been removed. All the bloatware is gone. You don't have like your uh, Blockbuster app or your, any of that stuff that slows down the phone is gone. Uh, so we'll find the Liberty toolbox. Okay, so go ahead and open up the Liberty Toolbox. And you'll see you have several options here. You have your app management. Uh, you can remove apps, backup, restore apps from there. Liberty Mods, you have your animations. That's the way that the screen flies in and out. Uh, you have several boot logos that you can change from. And I kind of like this Liberty boot logo here. There's several that you can choose from there. Um, you can install several different fonts here. You have a pull down bar editor so you can change where it says Verizon Wireless and put whatever text you want there. Uh, icon picker, this is like for your battery icons and your your different uh, see you can change from stock icons to liberty icons if you love the yellow theme. Um, let's see here you can also go into Liberty Tweaks. They have Ad Blocker, Cache Manager, Free Memory, uh, Manage Your Boot Animation. So you can actually download a boot animation and install it from here. And your Miscellaneous, a uh, Clear Market History, Fix Permissions, Install SD Card Update. Uh, all that's there. One thing that I really like about this is in Settings, you have like a Build Your ROM feature basically. Go into Liberty Settings and then go to Liberty Customizer and hit continue and you can go see they've really redone this customizer and added a whole lot of features here um, I'm just going to basic customizer and ask you which kind of launcher you want to use I'm on ADW launcher so I'll click OK there and you can choose between blur and AOSP I like the AOSP um, over the blur in most cases I like the blur music app the AOSP desk clock I like the AOSP camera, and I actually prefer the Blur Media Gallery, the AOSP email. The reason I prefer the Blur Media Gallery is because it has HDMI out. Uh, rem I removed my card docs because I don't really use them. And there's several other things that you can choose here. I kind of like the DLNA application, so I'll select that. Some people like the social networking. You can select that. Click OK. And I like Facebook, so I went on ahead and included that. And I like YouTube, so I've included that. And then you can have any of those blur widgets. They're there for you if you want them. If not, you don't have to have them. And you just hit apply, and it goes ahead and does the customization for you. And when it finishes, I'll just select reboot later. So uh, J. Rummy and team, they've really done a lot of edits to the framework and the build.prop to make it a whole lot quicker and faster. Uh, this does have better battery life than other versions of Liberty. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of ways to customize this. Um, Mobile Sensei, Dave Cover, they're all developing themes for Liberty all the time, so you can put whatever kind of Liberty that you want, whatever kind of color scheme. It'll be there. This thing's fully deodexed uh, for theming, theming purposes and everything really looks great on this ROM. So if you want to check out this ROM, head on over to droidmoderx.wordpress.com and I have the download in the link. Um, but we pretty much showed you everything. The main thing there was he had revamped the customizer and uh, that Liberty Toolbox. But guys, check it out. And uh, much faster than previous Liberty versions. So just check out the link there. To download that ROM and uh, thanks guys for watching go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date and check back later on this week I'll have an Apex 2.0 uh, for gingerbread video so that you can kind of see what's going on with Apex thanks guys